Hey, this is Dean, and welcome to Photo Blue. Today, I thought I'd discuss the differences between Luminar Neo and Luminar AI. Uh, now, there's some confusion, uh, and kind of rightfully so, because uh, Luminar Neo is still in development. So, I'm going to explain what the company actually says and what I understand by looking at the two, the differences are or will be. Uh, now, one major confusion is some of the features in Luminar Neo have not been added yet. And uh, so let's go over what some of the differences are. Uh, one of the differences is down here in Creative is uh, Relight, which is a uh, pretty cool thing where you can kind of relight the uh, image and m mess around with that and it's an AI function. Uh, so that's a new function and it's not available in Luminar AI, but only in Neo. Uh, another uh, function is actually up here under Enhance. No, it's actually under Erase. Uh, if you look under Erase, there's now a Remove Power Lines and a Remove Dust Spots, which uses AI to remove power lines and dust spots. So that's a new feature in Luminar Neo. And then another feature that's supposed to be here, but it's going to be in a, a future update or release of uh, Neo is uh, AI generated masking. So it uses AI to help you create masks. So those are the, uh, the major things that are new in uh, Luminar Neo. And the major difference between the two is Luminar AI is supposed to uh, be an easier uh, application to use. And it's kind of I would almost say I'd almost compare it to uh, Photoshop elements compared to Photoshop. It has uh, it's made so that it's easier for someone who's not as advanced to do things uh, very quickly. So it makes some decisions for you, or it helps you make decisions. Luminar Neo actually has or will have some more features in it uh, that give you more uh, creative control over it. So one of the other new features in Luminar Neo is over here in the side here, you see layers. So it has layers, uh, which is kind of like uh, Photoshop has layers. Now in the previous version or in the version, the AI version, the Luminar AI, they have like uh, masking, which does the same thing basically, but it d uses a different metaphor. So you, you put in different masks, but it's kind of like layers. But they've changed the metaphor in this one back to layers. The only problem is the earlier version currently, the AI version, with masks, you can actually mask an area and do an effect on an area as well as put another photo or another texture over top of an image. Uh, with the layers, you actually have to add another image on top of an image. So you can, you can add an image on top of this and then you can go to the layer options and change opacity. Or you can go up here and create a, uh, a layer mask that you can paint on. And as you paint it on, it reveals uh, the, the picture right there. So you can do that now. And eventually, once they put the, uh, the AI masking uh, feature in it, you'll be able to uh, use AI to generate masks to help you combine the images. I think it's also important to remember that they're not done with layers yet, so they'll probably add something equivalent to an adjustment layer in Photoshop, which uh, will allow you to ad do adjustments without having to put another picture or texture in the layer itself. So the layer will only contain adjustments and you'll be able to turn that on and off as well. Now with layer on, on, on layers here, we can hide the layer and so on. And you could turn off the masking in the previous version in the, the uh, Luminar AI. Uh, so those are some of the differences there. So I think you'll see in the future, uh, right now, a lot looks very similar into the two programs. And it, and it looks like really Luminar Neo is an update of Luminar AI. It, it, you know, when you first glance at it, uh, but I think what they're going to do is they're going to make the AI version more geared towards more casual um, 
photo editing in the Neo to more advanced photo editing. You should be able to do everything in Neo that you can do in AI, but it will be simpler to do it with Luminar AI. And uh, But right now, it's a little confusing since some of the functionality uh, from Luminar AI has not gone into Neo yet. And because the metaphor has changed between masks to layers, and you still do masks within the layers, but as I said in the old version, they just used mask instead of layer. So those are the differences between Luminar Neo and Luminar AI. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.